Shalom, Shalom, past the core here. And uh, I want to come on today with a recap from the panel discussion. So I want to address a lot of different things, you know, from the standpoint of, you know, why we did what we did, how we did, what we did, the way we did it. And it's all in value of understanding. You know, the most important thing was this. You know, we had a variety of people there, you know, that came out yesterday. But for the most part, the people heard the panel or the panelists that were not Israelites went home with a thought. You know, we received communication from them last night. We also received uh, communication from some of the other people, you know, that was out in the, the, the uh, audience. And so I want to bring this to value because as I went back and I looked at some of the comments, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say it clear as I can say it. Some of you all are just niggas. Y'all are assholes. Y'all are folks that don't understand what it means. To really represent the word of the Most High Yah. You know, yesterday we read directly from the book. Because it is our job not to provide stumbling. Now let's talk about that. See, some of you all, you, you, you ain't never had the Holy Spirit or the Ruach move through you, in you, or, or none of that. So you don't even understand what it means to help draw people to the kingdom. And so you constantly offend you constantly abuse and see for some of you all just reading them comments i can look out in, in the comments and see that your number one goal is to get people out into the coliseum and just get draw blood just to eat them alive that man that was on that panel yesterday pastor scott 70 something years old but guess what he heard and it took a babe like myself who I don't know nothing, but I know I'm passionate about the Most High Yah restoring his people. And so I got to become what I need to become to him in order for him to hear. Just like the other gentleman. That other gentleman is Alden Smith's dad who played for the 49ers. And... He even had dialogue with me, you know, last night. And the thing about it is that what got presented to, to them and the way that it was presented and to others is on their level so that they can understand and hear. You know, and that's what I mean. All you all who are specializing in Hebrew, change your name to Hebrew on Facebook, and can't nobody read your name no more. Take your damn ass up out of here somewhere and go somewhere where somebody can, y'all can just be in your own little damn village dealing with one another. Because see, people like that last night, they will come in if they hear the truth. If they receive understanding, but they can't receive no damn understanding if everything you got in the post is all Hebrew. Something wrong with y'all. Something is seriously wrong. See, let me read something to you. This is you. In Matthew or Matthew Yahoo 23 all right 13 look what it says but woe to you scribes and Pharisees that's you but woe to you scribes and Pharisees hypocrites because you shut up the rain of the heavens before men for you do not go in nor do you allow those who are entering to go in. So it's just like yesterday. You know, I look at you, you, you have a formality that you operate in. You know, you, you just sat, you know every damn thing now, you know all the damn I left bet. You 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 just you got all of this. Now prestige and esteem and you just you're a moray now and you 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 just a damn fool is what you are. And so we're tired of 
people being thrown down because you know I was talking to this lady who a lot of folks have commented on her video you know if you watched the panel discussion yesterday I mentioned out there I said she was one of the women that my wife and I had lived with once we had hit hard times we was on hard times because of the damn church we was in that's one of the reasons why I found the truth because they didn't handle the matters like they should have this guy was in the church supposed to have been a pastor one of the pastors and you was raping folks financially you know you folks was trying to help out it looked on the outside it looked like you had something you know going really well and you didn't and so you was using people and abusing people and so when we came to the head pastor about this you know well actually you know they had what you call care pastors and when we came to the care pastor about it you know he just well just pray about it until my wife went out on facebook and exposed them then then they all of a sudden they they, they heard but that's neither here nor there you was allowing this person in there and it, and it cost it cost us greatly so anyway this Sister came out of nowhere. It's a it's a white woman, but to you she ain't a sister. She helped me, all right. And we lived with her for eight months. Later on, she ended up bringing her cousin to a mass deliverance service that we had. And at that mass deliverance service, her cousin who had five tumors in her head and people yesterday saw her said yes that was true those tumors was gone so this is what i'm talking about y'all y'all teachers pharisees and scribes and sadducees and all, all the whatever you are but the power of yah is not with you that's what i'm saying i don't care about all the stuff that you into i'm just saying i see the hand of the most high yah moving at least Somebody like me who grew up in the inner city in St. Louis, who grew up in the in the hood, seen nothing but murdering, killing. I mean, I had people die on the side of my house, get shot right there on the side of my house, in front of my house. They had people stand across the street, shoot up at my house while I'm standing there in the doorway. And I had to fall back and duck. And I'm still here to tell you a testimony what he doing now i'm watching y'all use my hands to heal but guess what i got sense to know how to approach people you, this young generation all you young damn fools that don't know nothing that's all you doing is wearing fringes and running your mouth go look at yourself in the mirror do are you meek are you peaceable do you really have what it takes to to endure and and to Work, the work of the ministry, meaning that you apply yourself with diligence to, to make sure that you, you are not a stumbling, because that's what some of you all are. You are a stumbling block for people. They can't hear nothing. The woman that I stayed with, she, this is what she said, you know, when we were standing there talking before we left up out of there. She said, from the talk that we had, I went back to go look at the internet to see what this black Hebrew Israelites was about. And when I went out there, she said, oh my God. What I see out there, if I am supposed to submit, if I am supposed to be a part of this, what I see is just a shame. It's just as worse as being in church it's just as worse as anything else see that was my purpose for having it yesterday because i wanted to, i don't care what you think about me i don't care what you thought about what i said the words i used i said jesus whatever i don't care about what you think she's seen healing take place with her cousin she knows because she's seen me 
There's a lot of people that know me that seen me long time ago, just like my cousins that that just, you know that's back in St. Louis that have done. They ran around the streets. Now guess what? I'm a I'm a living testimony for them because guess what? You see my man of life, so you know I ain't faking this. You know it. You remember. So now you can see me on this side of it, and it it it, it caught you. It caught a thought. It registered in your mind. But you, you are ashamed because y'all run around in these camps. Y'all run around with all of these doctrines. And if y'all, guess what? It wouldn't be no, it wouldn't be that much talking. If you would just only begin to show forth the true Ruach, the true Holy Spirit, and let that demonstration draw just like it did in the day of Yahshua when he walked around. He didn't do a lot of talking. He did. He demonstrated. And then people was drawn to him. That's all I'm doing is demos. That's why that's why them pastors here. Because guess what? Now they know they, they didn't look at the video. They didn't saw you. But now they are willing to look and hear to see that okay maybe this Hebrew Israelite thing is true because I'm looking out and I do desire to see that at least the Holy Spirit is going to operate if I come over in this. Because see, people, some people are afraid to leave the church because they think that where they going is not going to produce the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Well, guess what? It ain't in a lot of places. But when you come here, guess what? It does because guess what? That's the thing when I talk to uh, um, all this day, he was like, man, when he was looking at the testimony up there, he was like, wow, that, yeah. So now guess what? What I'm saying ain't validated by me. It ain't validated by my word. It ain't validated how I look. It ain't validated by what I got on. It's validated by that testimony he saw up there when the lady who, I mean, you're talking about almost 24 hours that your baby is not alive in your womb. When y'all gonna start doing that? Instead of commenting on damn videos. When? Well, guess what? Now his ears is open. Guess what? Now the lines of communication. I'm dead. It's not a promise that he's gonna come into the to the ways of the most high Yah, but guess what? We representing this restoration that must happen. This this restoration has to happen. It has to happen. And people like you. Who are a damn clown that all you do is you just look for meat and blood. Man, y'all going to get you. Because you the one that shut up the kingdom. You the one that shut off widows. You the one that broadened your phylacteries. And don't know a damn thing. It's a shame. That when they get on the internet, they see you. Instead of seeing me. But that's how Satan designed it. That's what he always do. That's why you, you got presented Christianity before the truth really broke open. Now we come in the truth. Guess what? The same niggas that was in O'Fallon Park. The same niggas that riding up and down Prospect here in Kansas City. Same niggas riding up and down Natural Bridge and Kings Highway in St. Louis. That's you. Y'all the same one. I know you. I see you because I grew up around you. I know how you look. I know what you do. You ain't had no change because you come in and you look the same. So you think you don't look the same. But, hey, spirit. See, the spirit, it discerns the depth of men. And when I look at you, I ain't got to know you. I can look in your eyes right on them videos when y'all be talking. And you ain't had not an ounce of renewal. Some of you dudes, y'all are still doing the same wicked shit that you were doing when you were supposedly in the world. And you ain't had no change. Ain't no renewal. A lot of it. And you need to change. You need to change your ways and understand that the Most High Yah is the one that do the calling. And when he do the calling, guess what? He get things done in the earth because he's the one that's after making his name great. He ain't trying to make your name great, but you on the internet trying to make your name great. You all on the social media trying to make your name great. Just so you can get some clout among the women, the, the daughters of Zion, so you can build up your stable. 
Well, I don't give a damn about none of that. Guess what? The kingdom got built yesterday because people are hearing. Hey, you heard it from me. I'm Pastor Corey with the Straightway Ministry of Straightway Kansas City. Hey, I'm right here. I'm right here. So you heard it. And uh, keep your damn comments to yourself. Shalom, shalom.